the thousands who did not have bread. I saw him bring people back from yeah. the dead. He drove out demons from the probably... demon bound. And taught us how to walk on holy ground. He made the left us feel like new. The storm dissipated when he told it to. Took jars of water, turned it into wine. Save even heal this heart of I just waved at Aaron for you. Hi, Aaron. Aaron Johnson. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, so, well, I'm not sure how many, 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 I think it was 10, more than 10. Oh, Are we ready? Yeah, <laughs> I guess, I guess it's time. You're on, guys. Right. Uh, I'm Denny. And then I'm Darren. He's Darren, Darren, still. And it's not Wednesday, but it's Tuesday. And we are going to start doing this Bible study on Tuesday evenings at 7. So if you're watching this on Wednesday, you can watch it live on Tuesday if you'd like. And we would appreciate comments, letting us know that you're, that you're there. Um, that may not seem important to you, but it, it's kind of nice to know that we're just... We're not just sitting here talking to ourselves. Well, I mean, it's kind of fun to it do is. this anyway. Well, it is. We probably would do this It's anyway. nice to know if people... I mean, since we have the cameras on yeah. us, you know, that yeah. there's a purpose behind that. But, um, yeah, it's nice to, to hear comments or questions or even, you know, areas of disagreement. I think that's okay. Um, not really. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's... Yeah, go ahead. No, that's okay. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I'm shutting up. Uh, yeah. No, shutting up. Well, Leanne, well, Leanne, and up. Diane say hello. Hey, okay, hello. Good to see you both. Yeah. <laughs> know that you're there. Yes. I is. can't see through that camera. No. Anyway. So we are in John chapter six right. tonight. It, this is we're talking about how <laughs> this is a large chapter. Yes. Um, what seventy one verses. Right? Yeah. Over, yeah. And so it's going to take us 71 weeks. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but it might uh, take us more than just tonight. Uh, yeah. Maybe. It will. For sure. For sure. So we get the story of Jesus <clears throat> feeding the 5,000. Now, that's the count of the men. That's typically the right. way they would do it. So. Probably more than 5,000. Well over that, yeah. Yes. Uh, Aaron loves the shirt, Darren. <laughs> well, thanks. You know, it's yeah, summertime. I, I like that, too. The top down in the Jeep. And yeah. So I thought, you know what? We're going to do yeah. it. I don't get to dress up very much. This is dressing up. This is dressing up. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the tie that goes with that shirt, though. Yeah. If there is one. There's not. This is I, this is what I wear in my, my detective aid. Yeah, business. Right. I, Your side in, business. In Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Well, there's a good shirt. It makes me want to go to Hawaii. Well, I mean, step outside. It's I've very tropical. Been, I've only been once. But I've never forgotten once. Well, it was just the layover. It wasn't. No. It wasn't. <laughs> I mean, it was nice. <laughs> if you have to be stuck somewhere, Hawaii is the best place. I mean, First world problems. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Got stuck in Hawaii. Anyway. 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 Thank you. Yeah. This this episode's about the shirt. No. <laughs> it's about John chapter six. Jesus feeding the five thousand. I wear a puffy shirt next to it. <laughs> like okay. Oh, if you know what that reference is to, you could drop that in the comment yeah. section. Or yeah. the complaint section. <laughs> it's the same section. Okay. Let's read. It. Let's okay. just read. Are we? <laughs> Here to study the Bible, chapter I think that's six. What we're you know what? I <laughs> let's. 
I like the way that we do this. And I think it, it from what I've heard from other people, um, the, the light hearted, the, the, you know, it's not stuffy or, you know, we can study the Bible that way if, if, if you want sure. to, but I don't, I don't think that that, that that's a requirement. Well, I think what you're saying is we, we enjoy doing this. Absolutely. And we, we really do, uh, love and respect each other. And I think you do. Well, yeah, I do. I do. Anyway. But we really do. So we have a good time doing this, and I think we that, that uh, that's that's okay to enjoy reading the Bible and, we should. and looking at these these accounts and and uh, the humanity of Jesus. That's what I right. uh, that's what I appreciate about um, this study, especially. But uh, is looking at the humanity mm -hmm. of, of Jesus and the way he dealt with people and. Yeah. Uh, in their humanity as well. You know, right. they had that in common. So, anyway, yeah, let's read. Well, and <coughs> why did he feed the 5,000? They were hungry. They were hungry. They were hungry. Yeah. Pretty easy to figure that one out. But, so, we're going we're gonna <clears> to <throat> cover the first 15 verses and see where that gets us. There's a clock. You can't see it, but it's <laughs> right here. It's about this big around. I'm staring at it. Yeah. So, there's no excuse. It's ticking, too. It's ticking away. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Chapter 6, uh, verse 1. After this, this is a after this, after Jesus has um, really kind of uh, dressed down the Pharisees, you know, and talking about they, they mm -hmm. need signs. And, you know, if you would, if you would, uh, if you knew the scripture, you would know that they were talking about me. You know, mm -hmm. he's kind of really giving them uh, the, the business here. That says, after this, in chapter 6, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. Now the Passover, uh, the feast of the Jews, was a hand. Lifting up his eyes then and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him. For he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for, for each of them to even get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down. About 5,000 in number. Mm. Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. Also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to, uh, to come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. Wow. Okay. Uh, what a scene. You, you have to love Jesus. He cares about people so much. Um, it's it, it, I like um, the version you're reading from it says um, well, when he lifted up his eyes um, mine says when he looked up verse 5 mm -hmm. does, what is, lifting up his eyes then and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him this is like when the Samaritan woman right, yeah. had brought the whole town of Sychar out to, mm -hmm. to meet with Jesus it, so this is, the disciples are seeing this, and he's seeing this. Mm -hmm. So, you're wondering, are they getting it? Now, being this far, um, well, this side of the cross, this side, and right. this far, uh, we, we see so much, we can put things together, and we can say, well, they should have put the, you know, they should have connected the dots, but listen... I think we're fooling this ourselves. Happening in real time. Yes. There's this, there's, yeah, this is all brand new. Are you new. kidding me? They had things going on in their lives. Um, 
I mean, they're, they're following Jesus and uh, a, a lot of moving parts here. And we would think that we would get it. They don't get it always, but, uh, and, and we think maybe that we would. I don't know. I, know. I don't There's think no I way. would no. at all. So I'm not going to be hard on uh, the disciples for their either misunderstanding or not understanding at all what's going on but he lifts up his eyes that's a that, that's just a great scene and he sees the people um, and this is <clears throat> unlike John tells some things that aren't in the other gospels you know we've we've looked at mm -hmm. some already mm -hmm. um, this one is I believe yeah this one's recorded Matthew Mark and right. Luke as well so this Everybody gets to look at this, and a lot of times when I, I've said this before, well, if you're if you're looking at this bottle of water, um, you, those that are watching, you can see something that I can't. I mean, I could read to you what's on this this uh, the back side of this uh, water bottle, or I could draw a picture of it or describe it in some way, and you would describe what you see, and they're. Really, they're two different things, but we're describing the same they're both bottle. Correct. Yes. Yeah, they're both correct. So, what the gospels do is they, they tell the story from from different angles, different perspectives, and so you get this full story. But here in John, um, he's uh, he's concerned about the people. Well, uh, what I uh, what uh, the visual I get here, he goes across the lake. Yes. Right. The sea yes. of Galilee. The people don't go across the lake with him. They go around the lake. Was that is that what you would assume um, there? Yeah, so they... It might uh, take them a little see. while to He's get there. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A large crowd was following him yeah. because they saw that Jesus went up on the mountain. He sat this aside. Now, I can see he's sitting there. Maybe, yeah. I don't know if, if he could see across, you know, if they could literally see across the lake to see the people moving well in mass you know yeah. around and so that's when he's seeing them coming you know and you know we're, we're talking maybe 12 15 thousand people you know total who knows five thousand men yeah. you, you know if that's a third of the number then there's more than five thousand there though absolutely that's the number that we you know we throw out there and say and that's that's fine we can keep it at five thousand we can take it up to Double that, even. I mean, mm -hmm. we really don't know, but we know there was at least five thousand. But he sees them coming. Verse five. He sees them uh, coming toward him. Yeah. Right. And yeah. he knows, without them even getting there, that they're hungry. Right. You know, they don't have to say anything. They don't. They don't get there and ask him for food. He. He sees what they need before they even let him know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, Aaron says 5,000 people in one place is so many for this time in history. I would bet this was the largest gathering most of them had ever seen uh, in their yeah, lifetime. That's a big, I mean, that's the size of a town, right? I mean, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of people. You're right. All in one place. Um, I have, you know, if you go to a concert or a sporting event or something like that, you see, you know, 40, 50,000 people. Right. And, and you think about that number, mm -hmm. how just, how vast yeah that is and why were they there well they were there because just to see <laughs> yes <laughs> so uh, I love verse you know verse uh, uh, what is it verse 5 and 6 here where Jesus um, he said to Philip where where should we buy bread for these people to eat mm -hmm. And verse 6, he asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. I absolutely love Well, that. I have a note about that, and I, I wonder, <clears throat> did Philip pass the test? Well, what was the test, even, do you think? I, I think uh, the, if you, you look the word up in the Greek, you know, the, well, of course, we know that the New Testament was written in Greek originally. Um, the the word test means to uh, to try mm -hmm. uh, 
to see whether a thing could be done. Or well, not. so it, that's funny. It, it's good. Well, my my uh, online uh, uh, version here, when I highlight that word, it says uh, to make proof or trial of to put uh, or put to the proof whether with good or mischievous intent. Yes. I, I think Jesus is, listen, I think it's, it's important that God knows where our head is and where, how we're thinking. Because, of course, how we think, it, that's going to drive how we act and what we do. Um, so I, I, I love the fact that he is... He just wants to see what he's so going to do. You think he's like being sarcastic? I, no, I just bit? think I just think he wants to see what he's going to do. It's sort of like if to me it is mm -hmm. that it's. Have you ever wanted to see what your kids would do in a certain situation? Yes. I mean, yes. and and it wasn't a situation where they would get hurt. Right. I mean, this yeah. no one's going to get hurt here because Jesus already knows what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. So it's all taken care of. Everything is in order. Jesus knows that. No problem. Everyone's going to get fed. And so Jesus is relaxed, and he just mm -hmm. wants to see, I think he just wants to see, how will Philip handle this? I mean, where's his mind? What's he thinking? He could have said, he could have looked at Jesus and said, well, now you can just feed him, <laughs> right, yeah. right? Yeah. But he didn't do that. Um, it's kind of like it's when, interesting. Uh, in some other places, it says, <laughs> Jesus marveled. Yes. At the saying, you know, when uh -huh. people said this, as if he was surprised. Right. You know, he knew what, but he's, but still, he, he yeah. marveled. Uh, and here he's, uh, he's, yeah, maybe just seeing what, how he would respond. Or I think here. we need, it's good and healthy for us to think of Jesus as, as a, he's God in flesh, is how John presents him. And this is John's gospel, it's his job to present Jesus to us. And he presents him as human, and he loves people. He loves you. He loves me and Darren. He loves Lee. He he loves people. We don't always, because of the way people may treat us or the things that they might say, you know, uh, we get fed up with people and all of that. And not that Jesus didn't at, at some points in his life, mm -hmm. but... I think uh, in this situation, I think he just is interested in what Philip's going to come up with. <clears throat> Not that he couldn't read Philip's mind if he wanted to, but I, I think the thinking process of how you get from point A to point B, there's, there's a problem here. Hungry people. How are we going to solve this? Right. Well, you and I both know there's no earthly way to do that. Well, We're he says he's asking his friends, "How? Yeah. What are we going to do? Right to buy? You know, where are we going to? What? It take more than a half a year's wages right. to buy enough food for each one to have a bite. Now this is key because these people are going to eat more than <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're going to eat more than one piece of pizza. All right, let's just say right. they're going to have a whole pizza or a whole pizza themselves if they want it. That's what's going on here. Philip's saying we. There's no way we could feed them with, so they could just have a bite. And, and that's, that's the not, key. That's not There's good. no way we could do right. it. There's no way. Yeah. It, it would take half year's wages. Um, another disciple, Andrew, uh, he speaks up. Here's a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. Now, I have another note for that. Yeah. Did Andrew pass the test? <coughs> Well, they're trying. Because he say, hey, here's, Here, here's some, something. Yeah, here's something. Here's what something. can you do with this? Philip's like, I, I don't know. We can't do anything, really. Right. Which, I mean, we, he's right. Just, he couldn't yeah, do he, anything. Yeah. So, they don't... Uh, here's this boy. How? But he says, uh, kind of like a good. Debbie Downer kind of thing. How? That wouldn't even feed the 12. How, how far... Will will this go with with so many among so many? I mean, wah, wah. yeah, and those We're just those two fish are not like you know big. No, cat they fish were or they were a little, little boy's lunch. I mean, right? They, and from what I've read, the little like sardine-sized mm -hmm. fish. Uh, we're not talking about two 
large bass or something right. like that. Yeah. These are not uh, big fish. These aren't big things, and and the the barley loaves that would have been the bread, really the bread of of the the poor, poor folks. People, right? Yeah, and it would have been com a real common thing. But so basically, we got a little boy's lunch here. But you know, other than that, there's nothing really. Uh, another comment. Yeah. Aaron says this feels like a mentor knowing the answer to yes. the question, but wanting the pupil to work out the problem. Yes, I think I think you're exactly right, Aaron. Um, yeah, good insight. I. It, and do you think? And let me ask uh, you all too. Do you think that current day, I mean, in our lives, that that God wants us to go through? the same kind of thought processes. I mean, how do how would we solve this? I mean, so something, there's a problem presented, whatever it is. I mean, it could be illness, it could be whatever it is. How are we going to get through this? Mm -hmm. You know, and really, first our first move is we look at what we can provide ourselves. Right, right? We, we look at the situation and say, there's no way. Yeah. There's I, no I, way I can do this. I can't work enough hours. Yeah. To make enough money, to you know, we we try to solve the problem, and that, that it's not necessarily wrong, but no, I think so. but I love how he just he just tests to see what's there, and he doesn't, and, and that's the other thing too. When we do things like that, just like the apostles did, Jesus wasn't angry at them for wanting to try to solve the problem themselves and think of right. <clears throat> rational, logical. What he does is not logical. Yeah, uh, it's not even possible. Right. You know, right. So obviously, that's not what they're going they're not to jump like to. That. Well, think of this like a like a gas gauge. I mean, we're all familiar with that. And you either let your. I mean, are you the type of person that always keeps it full? I used to not be that person. No, I mean, it would be quarter of a tank was plenty. Yeah. You know, and we'd take trips, and I would want to try to find the cheapest gas possible so I'd run it to I don't do that anymore I keep I try to keep it full and uh, but old people you know when I was younger old people used to always keep the tank keep your tank full old people what? did that yeah. old people did that someday I'll do that but think of it like a gas gauge you that tells you where you are I mean that, that tells you how far you can go, mm -hmm. what you can do. Really, what they're saying is Jesus is gauging the situation, mm -hmm. and he, he wants them to see this. So their gauge, when they look at it, they're seeing that tank is empty. Mm -hmm. Man, there is yeah. nothing. Andrew says, well, then maybe there's a little glimmer of hope. <laughs> no, no, there's no hope here because the tank is just, I mean, it's just above the empty line, mm -hmm. and you're not, we're not going to get very far down the road. And Jesus is just trying, I think, to try to gauge the situation, help them see. He's going to blow their mind here in just a moment. And, you know, you know there's lots of things he could have done. Uh, you know, God, when he fed the, the Jewish people in Moses' time, that food was created right. out of thin air. Literally yeah. nothing, it, it became food. It was, what is it? What, what is, is it? Man? That's right. Um <laughs> But Jesus doesn't do that. He doesn't create food necessarily here out of, I, mean, I don't know how he does it. it I, really, yeah. Uh, but he takes something that's already there mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. divides it. Yeah. Divides or it. does he multiply it or divide it? He divides it. Does he and, and then multiplies it. Hey, go yeah. back just a little ways. <laughs> In your conversation, Aaron does yeah. say we would Google it first. Yeah, we would <laughs> Google. How far to the... Nearest? YouTube. Yeah. No, I'd watch a YouTube video. YouTube video how to do the, on how to feed how five thousand plus. <laughs> Can't do it. On two <laughs> fish. It would not be any videos or, uh, on that. Yeah. Um, but you know, he doesn't. He doesn't just say, "Well, I'll take care of this," and create yeah. food. Okay. He uses the food that's oh, this there is good. to. I'm going to turn toward you now. Okay. <laughs> so the struggles worth something, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know? Do you do you sense that in your life that hmm. the struggle is actually worth something? I think not at the time. Not at the time. No. I, I think, of course, for them. I mean, I'm sure that they have 
I don't know. Well, here's another thing they, to think about. They don't have any... These people did not prepare. No. You know, they just went. Hey, there he is! Yeah, <laughs> so let's go. We're I, going. I'm not even... I don't even care. I didn't pack a lunch, yeah. you know? So let's go anyway. And Jesus cares about and him. And not that they yeah. thought that he would feed him. I don't think they were thinking that either. So... They just weren't... They, they just anything. went. Yeah. And without really much regard for... Yeah. Uh, for planning ahead. It, so th- it's interesting, though, that Jesus would put them, sort of, uh, Philip, sort of at the forefront of this. Like, you, d- you just, uh, what, what, what are you going to do? I mean, <laughs> he, he does say, mm-hmm. um, um, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Now, Jesus puts that, I mean, that's the thought. Where are we going to go buy bread? Where were we going to... At, and, and the apostles didn't say, well, why is it our yeah. job to feed these people? It's not our you problem. Know, that's not... They're here to see you, not us. <laughs> right. um, you fix it. Well, it's just an interesting situation. A lot of things to, to think about here, but... Um, so, Jesus, verse 10, have people sit down. Now, this is his plan. He already knew what he was going to do. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of grass there. Um, so they sat down. 5,000 men were there. So you have some ladies that are there, families that are there. I don't know. I'm sure there were. I'm sure there were. There was, there was, that's a lot of people. And then Jesus took the loaves. And what did he do? This is key. He gave thanks took those little loaves, those little barley loaves, and uh, he gave thanks. Now that's something that John is presenting Jesus as the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is wanting, obviously wanting, not only his disciples, but the people that were there to understand, this is coming from God. Mm -hmm. Because they don't know what's coming next. Oh, no. I mean, if you get the picture, I mean, here are the loaves, and Jesus is giving thanks for this. And some people have got to be thinking, okay, um, well, they've never seen him do this he before. Eat this himself? Or uh, yeah. What's he so he gives doing? thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted and did the same with the fish. And when they had had, they had, they all had had enough to eat. He said to his disciples, "Gather up the pieces that are left. Let nothing be wasted." Wow. Um, so they're not. They're, they're filled up. They all had enough, and it was as much as they wanted. This isn't like it is sometimes with. You know, if you ever have guests over, I remember as a, as a kid sometimes. Uh, we might have somebody visit or something, and uh, you couldn't just eat all the food. <laughs> you, as a teenager, you know, you had to kind of you had to wait. you had to rein yourself in a little bit, which mom was good at doing that. But, um, but you you got a certain amount. I was always impressed with uh, Lee's family. She her family's uh, bigger than mine. Gigantic. Yeah, oh, and crazy. and so. Her mom, I, I would love when I when I uh, when we got married, and even before then when we were dating, I noticed that I mean she would make certain things, and there was just there was enough. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm used to it was just me and my sister. Yeah, I get maybe as much as I wanted, and I learned real quick <laughs> that, and, and it wasn't that she didn't make enough. Mm-hmm. She made enough. she made enough. And everybody got to eat. And it wasn't like uh, everybody eat until you can't eat anymore, you know. But everybody everybody got their food and everyone was satisfied. She's a great cook, by the way. She may be watching this, so i got to say some good things at least. Uh, No, she really is. But, you know, they it's an important thing to, to get here because... Andrew says, there's so little, there's no way. Mm -hmm. There's no way this can happen. And then the people are eating as much as they wanted. 
when they had all had enough to eat, in other words, they were filled up. Mm -hmm. Eating their fill, if my, my word yeah. says, yeah. Um, so, it, not that it people would have said, well, this really wasn't really that impressive. Everybody just got three bites. Mm -hmm. If everybody just had a bite, that'd be enough. Right, it, that's, yeah, that's, you know. That's what, uh, that's what Philip said. Yeah. There's no, there's not even enough for these people to get a little. Just a bite. Yeah. But Jesus is going to make sure that they are well fed. It's a good point because he's going to say here in a moment, he is the bread of life. And he, he will, f he'll fill your tank. There's no, uh, Jesus doesn't skimp. Mm -hmm. I mean, um. Right, he didn't give them, you know, just enough, or he didn't just give them a, a, a taste. Just he a gave bit. them all they wanted, and yeah. more. And there was more, even still, right. that they that, that was left over. There was more food left over than there was <laughs> to begin with. Yes. Um, yeah, and he doesn't want that to be wasted. Isn't right. that great? Exactly. I wonder what they did with that. I, you know, I'm wondering the same thing. But, um... um so, verse 13, they gathered <clears throat> and uh, filled up the 12 baskets with the pieces. And uh, let's see, after that, um, verse 14, after the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus knowing, verse 15 is something. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force. By force. Yeah. He withdrew again to a mountain by himself. He did that quite a bit, but in this case, I mean, how do you, I was thinking about this earlier today as I was doing other things, I was thinking, how do you force somebody to be a king? No, <laughs> you're going to be a king. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be a king. Mm -hmm. They're going to take him by force and make him king. Um, the, the sheer will of the people, you know, you're, you're going to be you're, king. You're doing this. Yeah. I don't care what you want. So that thought of him being king, I mean, of course, they were looking for the one that was going to take, um, was going to sit on David's, David's throne, throne in Jerusalem. I mean, and finally they were going to be a powerhouse. They were, they were really going to be. And now they've got this guy. He can do anything. They could feed everybody. And think about him. If he was the king, they'd never lose a war. They could take back, Armies you well know, kick, kick the Romans out of there. Yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. So there are a lot of hopes and dreams here, yeah. I'm sure, with with Jesus and, and what this could be for them. So um, maybe a little selfishness here on their part. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't want, if I was in their shoes, I'd want maybe, to make him king. Sure, yeah. Uh, like, maybe, if Jesus were running in November, would you vote for him? Make Israel great again. <laughs> I do have a comment. Because obviously someone needs to take over this. <laughs> oh, good. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> that this one. is near Passover season <laughs> when the people commemorated deliverance from oppression. And the crowd's reaction is not surprising. They're already thinking yeah. about when they were delivered from oppression. Right. Because it's Passover season. Yeah. So it just fits right on in there. Oh, dear. Mm. Well, I you heard it here. But again. And wait, one more. Aaron says, food for all slash salvation for all. Mm. Um, it's a metaphor or... Aaron, I don't know what that word is. Cross oh, Sorry. I do know. I was <laughs> I'm looking at it wrong. Crucifixion, <laughs> metaphor, or foreshadow. Yeah. Yes. I was. I need my glasses. Sorry, yeah. Aaron. For sure. He. Um, <clears throat> well, anybody else would have jumped at the chance, right? I mean, to be king, and they yeah. want to make him king. They're ready right now. Yeah. To do it, and he he obviously this is not his plan. No, this is not <clears throat> what he came. Uh, to do so um, well and I wrote down I had uh, written down that you know he withdrew I mean he didn't he didn't engage them in this thought mm -hmm. he didn't hang around and say he would actually it argue so yeah it really what this I mean it's not God's timing and this is 
it's crucial that Jesus stays on the timeline mm -hmm. because everything's going to happen the way God wants it to happen. And the only reason it is is so that these people can be saved. Like Aaron's right, you know, uh, it, it's for our salvation. So God's timing is perfect. Um, and they didn't, of course, the people were thinking, no, right now is the time it needs to be. They they didn't know what God was thinking. And we don't always know. No. I mean, we have his word and we should invest our time and our lives in that so that we can know him. And that's why we're doing, that's why we're studying the Gospel of John, so we can know Jesus, so we can know God in, in a better way. But there's a lot here about, to, to think about as far as timing goes. I mean, think about your life and the timing. Um, just if one thing was different as far as timing goes in your mm -hmm. life early on. I mean, I I met Lee in in Australia, and I I didn't want to go there at first. I didn't, um, but I the the team I was on, we uh, we decided that's where we were going to go, and I met her over there. She was uh, she was it, over uh, there with another group, and 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 if you had Facetime my grandson tonight, if you oh, well he Facetime with me. And we're chatting, talking back and forth, you know. He, and I'm thinking, if I had decided mm -hmm. to not go, or you know, so that's what I'm thinking about is that just just one little thing that's different right. changes. And you could say, well, if it changed it, then you never would know. So how do you, that wouldn't be any big deal. So it probably wouldn't be, but um, but God's timing is key, and. That means that we need to be patient. These people weren't necessarily being patient. They wanted to be king right now. I mean, now's the time. But for God, no. Now is not the time. And even in the book of Acts, chapter one, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna ask, is it yes, you know, resurrected right, Jesus? Yeah. Is it is it at this time you're gonna restore? I mean, they're interested in that. We would be too, but um, all in God's timing. So that calls for us to be patient. I don't know. I'm, well, I was going to say, you know, you would not have had your children. You know, no. But you also wouldn't have met me. Ooh. And we wouldn't be here doing this. We would right not now. be. Not in Monette, Missouri. No. This is the only reason I come to Monette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <So>. sure. <laughs> Go Cubs. <laughs> yeah. Go Cubs. Go we'll Cubs. Uh -huh. Um... <clears throat> Anyway, yeah. oh, let's stop there. That's I a good guess. place. Yeah, we're, we're at, what, 37? 37 so. minutes, maybe? 38 minutes. 38 four minutes seconds. and counting. Close enough. Then we probably need to stop. Yep. So thanks for joining us. You may have uh, thoughts or comments that you want to you uh, let us know what those are. That'd be great. Uh, if you're watching this on replay, hey, uh, put your comments, comments in there and we'll... Uh, we'll take a yep. look at them and we'll see them. Let us know that you're watching. We appreciate that. That's encouraging to us. And and uh, we hope that uh, these studies are, are beneficial. I know it's good for us mm -hmm. to think about these things. So, um, you, you have anything else? No. Not Tuesday, until next week. Tuesday nights. Yeah. Right? Tuesday nights. If you're watching this on Wednesday, Tuesday That's nights okay. at 7 live. All right? If you want that. Hey, have a great evening. Yep. We love you. God loves you.